Let me show you how I use old feed bags to winterize your coop. I'm going to take a break in my string of videos on how to find inexpensive ways to feed nutritious food to your chickens to present two videos that I feel are very time sensitive and deal with issues that I'm having right now at the moment. And I know if I'm dealing with it, then all my poultry friends must be dealing with them too. In this first video, I'm going to winterize my coop and I'll show you how I did it and why I chose to do it that way. Next week, um, I'm going to have a video on the problem that I'm having with my chickens laying eggs this time of year and what I did to solve that issue. And then we'll return to our regular programming. It's the middle of November and my husband just told me we are expecting our first strong cold front sometime this weekend. Since it's supposed to get into the 40s, I need to winterize my chicken coop. That way the wind doesn't blow into the coop and the chickens don't get too cold at night. Now I know what you're thinking. Chicken feed bags? Really? No, really. Nobody is going to see them. It's going to be on the inside of the coop and the only ones that are going to get to enjoy it are the chickens. Avoid using these paper bags in this project because if there's any paper on the bag, if there's any paper on the bag, it's going to get soggy if there's any moisture at all in the coop. Another issue is that the chickens love to pull and peck at paper, so make sure that you use plastic bags for this project. Now just as a side note, this is what I like to feed my chickens. It's very nutritious and they love it. So the idea is to staple gun those feed bags on the inside walls of the chicken coop. But there is no way I am climbing inside there to do that until we add some fresh bedding to this coop. So let's do that first. Well, the chickens have figured out what I'm up to. They know there's fresh bedding and they're dying to get in here and eat it. So I'm going to have to close that door so I can get in here and do what I need to do. Sorry girls. I finally found the staples and the staple gun. So let's get to it. Okay, we have got all the walls covered in feed bags. Can y'all tell I've been saving these bags for a long time? I actually have a whole lot more inside. So if any of you close by need some bags to do this, just let me know and we'll make arrangements. There's two things I want y'all to notice about the winterizing that I did today. One is, you see this area right up here, the air can come in. I did that on purpose. And the reason is you don't want to plug up every nook and cranny in your chicken coop. You've got to have some kind of airflow. If you don't, it's going to get um, very humid in here. And one thing that happens when chickens gets cold and wet is they get sick. So make sure you have some ventilation to let the moisture out. And then the other thing I wanted you to notice is see how these feed bags are upside down? The reason I did that is if there is any condensation here, I don't want it collecting in the bag. It'll just drip down and go all the way down to the floor. The last thing that I would like to mention is I live in South Texas near San Antonio and this kind of winterizing of my coop is more than sufficient because we get down in the teens maybe once a year, not very often, so we don't get brutal winters. Uh, those of you that live further north might need to do some little more than what I've done, but um, this works really great for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And as always, y'all have a fantastic day. I don't have a blooper to put at the end of the video, 
So today I thought I would bring you some little baby chick cuteness instead. This is a silver partridge silky and her little baby partridge silky chick.